going on? Nicole here from Kebsham Gaming. I wanted to do a little tutorial instead of Kev's usual how-to video. It's not going to show you how to build something in Minecraft. It's going to show you how to make it look prettier um, if you're into that kind of thing. So this is going to show you how to do that. Now, it's debatable on how this can be done. Um, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to have four links in the description to these four documents. It is Forge 1.7.10, Shaders Mod Core, um, Optifine 1.7.10, and Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders um, Ultra Version 10.1 Shader Pack. So if you're looking to make your Minecraft like super realistic, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is install Forge. Forge is a mod, um, a modded version of Minecraft that allows you to um, download mods and make your game experience just ten times what it could be in just vanilla Minecraft. Um, so you're going to download this jar um, file, which is an installer. All you have to do is double click on it and it's going to bring up this screen here. Now this is for Minecraft 1.7.10. Um, so we want to install the client. Um, you want to make sure that this goes directly to your Minecraft folder. All you do is hit install and just wait for it to load. Okay. Hit OK. And now what you want to do is you want to go to your Minecraft folder. So you go percent app data percent. You want to go to your dot Minecraft now, let's see, you will have to make two folders here. One folder will be your mods folder. Another folder will be your shader packs folder. Kind of like resource packs, only shader packs. So what you want to do is you want to take these two mods here, which is the Optifine, which lets you zoom in, um, which is pretty cool. If you don't want that, then just don't use it. Um, and then you want your Shaders Mod Core because that's going to allow um, the SEUS to be in your game. So you just want to drag those two mods into the mod folder. So they're there now and go to your shaders pack folder. You want to make a folder that has this name here because that's what you're going to identify it with. So I just want to do SEUS Ultra version 10.1. Double click on that to open that folder and we're just going to drag the shaders folder into the SEUS Ultra folder. So this, this folder here has to have a shaders, which has to have these kinds of files in it. Um, if it doesn't have those, then it's not going to work. So now that our forge is installed, um, our shaders are installed, our mods are installed, we can go ahead and open up Minecraft. Now I will say that this is for 1.7.10, um, and you have to make sure that when you install forge, that you already have a 1.7.10 um, version of the game already made. It should come up first so it would be like this. It would look like this and then it'll tell you the Forge version down here. You hit play. Now down here you will see that it has Forge installed. Optifine's installed. It has three mods loaded, three mods active. Um, so you can look at the mods, the different mods that you have here which is great. Um, you can see which ones you want to activate, which ones you don't. Um, but it's good that we see Optifine there, because that means it worked. Alright, so we're in our world, um, and you're probably asking, well, where's the shader pack? Um, that's because it has to be initialized, so you'll hit Escape, go to Options, Shaders, and there you see the folder that you originally named that shader pack folder. Um, you click on it, and you hit done. Now this looks fantastic with um, a texture pack, so I highly recommend you download a texture pack um, just to make it make it look more realistic. I have the Iron Horse texture pack. It's more of a Native American type themed. Um, but anyway, look at this water. Look at that water. It's just beautiful. The original 
uh, key to zoom in is left control. Um, so you can always change that through your control options. Um, you can also turn off the clouds, but that is a Minecraft option, not a shader pack option. We'll turn those off. There we go. Look at those beautiful, realistic clouds just moving, moving along. So lovely. But anyway, um, so yeah. It, it, I think it really enhances the game, makes it look wonderful, very realistic. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this tutorial on how to install the 1.7.10 version of the SEUS shader pack with uh, Forge Mod. If you like this video, please give me a like and let me know if there are other mods that you'd like me to show you how to install or um, how to's. I'm going to make our goal 10 likes for the next how to. You let us know whether you want it to be a tutorial on how to install a mod or if you want to see Kev show you how to build something. So until next time, see you guys later. Bye.